Hi, this is Josh. I'm a pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. We're going to talk about the medication Montelukast and the boxed warning that has been added to it, as well as discuss some possible alternatives uh, to use in place of Montelukast. As with all my videos, this information is for informational purposes only, and it's not intended to serve as a substitute for your healthcare provider. So Montelukas, what it is it? It's a uh, U.S. sold under the brand name Singular. It's used to treat allergic rhinitis, allergies, asthma, and exercise-induced bronchoconstriction. So when the lungs kind of tighten up or difficulty breathing during exercise, it is available in tablets, chewable tablets, as well as packets or granules. So what did the FDA have to say about this? They came out, um, this came out March 4th, 2020, and they indicated that stronger warning about the risk of neuropsychotic events associated with the asthma and allergy medication Singular and the generic Montelukast. Let's dive in just a little further here. Okay, so we'll see what the FDA had to say here. Of course, they're requiring a boxed warning uh, for Montelukast and of course the brand name Singular to strengthen the existing warnings about the neuropsychotic events associated with this drug. Again, as we mentioned, it's used to treat uh, asthma and allergic rhinitis or hay fever. And it is advising healthcare providers to avoid prescribing Montelukast for patients with mild symptoms, especially for allergic rhinitis. So it's used for asthma and allergies. And they're saying if it's mild and if it's allergies or hay fever, type symptoms, probably not the best medication to use. So we'll look in a little further here. The Safety Commission noted that they reviewed the available data and the neuropsychotic events with Montelukast were, the ones reported included agitation, depression, sleeping problems, suicidal thoughts, and actions. Um, and this happens in some young people, which that can be terrible side effects and difficult uh, for the patient as well as the family. So they're recommending healthcare providers and patients understand the risk with, when they start this medication um, so they can watch for symptoms and notify their healthcare provider if they do start having symptoms. And furthermore, they recognize millions of Americans suffer from asthma and allergies and rely on treatments like Montelukast to treat these conditions. But these and they don't know the incidence of neuropsychotic events associated with Montelukast. Officially in the monograph, it's uh, listed as less than 1%, but there have been some serious reports and among patients as well as healthcare providers. So they added the box warning just to help increase awareness. They want to make sure patients and medical providers have the information available to make informed treatment decisions. And there are many other treatments available that are safe and effective to treat allergies. Now, I, I, since this warning came out, I thought it was interesting. I've been surprised how many people I have noticed take Montelukast as well as an antidepressant. So on this medication, I'm trying to expand the time that I talk with people, kind of discuss the risks associated with this, and that we want to watch out for those symptoms. So what are some possible alternatives to Montelukast? And we're going to focus mainly on the allergy symptoms as that's the FDA has indicated that this would no longer be a first line choice for allergy. Nasal steroids, nasal steroids like Flonase, Nasacort, etc. The, these are all available over the counter now and they do reduce allergy symptoms like watery, itchy eyes. They are very effective for many people. Um, sometimes you can get a nosebleed with them when used properly and at normal doses, usually not very common, but can occur. And sometimes you can get some nasal irritation. You will notice improvement within a couple of hours of using these, but the nasal steroids do um, kind of provide their peak effect if you use daily for like two weeks and then continue through when you have your allergies. Oral antihistamines may sometimes help, um, you know, like Claritin and Zyrtec. Um, those would be options as well. And then there are some good eye drops, especially if your symptoms are mainly eye symptoms, itchy, watery eyes. Patidae and Zatador are available without a prescription. Patidae has just become available without a prescription. So they have a once and twice daily formulation. Possible alternatives, depending on your symptoms. Of course, that's a conversation you'd want to have with your healthcare provider. 
I appreciate you watching this. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.